happening in a big American city. My name is Emily. I am married to Robert, a man who is 15 years older than me. Robert works hard and earns well, but lately our marriage has been bursting at the seams. I am young, beautiful, and full of energy, and my husband seems to have lost interest in many moments of our life together. Moreover, we practically lost sex. It would be easier if we had children, but at the beginning of our marriage somehow did not work out, and now, and now with the frequency of sex that we have, it is unlikely that I will ever get pregnant. I tried to talk to my husband about it, but he just shrugs it off saying he's too tired after work. There are always disagreements between us. I began to feel very lonely. And then Tyrone showed up. He is an ambitious and confident African-American, a sculptor who has made his way in the art world. We met at an exhibition of his work and a spark immediately began to play between us. His passion for life, his confidence and ease attracted me. We started dating and I felt alive and welcome in his company. Our meetings were full of passion and energy. With Tyrone, I felt alive and always wanted, which I hadn't felt for a long time. But the situation became more complicated when Robert accidentally saw us hugging on the street. He was angry and saddened, but despite this, we continued to meet. However, Robert hired a detective who tracked us down, and then Robert came to my parents with photos and printouts of phone calls and asked them to reason with me, because otherwise he would divorce me. They all put a lot of pressure on me, arguing, in particular, that I got married at the age of 18, while still in college however. After graduation, my husband insisted that I not work. Unfortunately, I agreed then. Therefore, now I am completely financially dependent on him. Anyway, I had no choice but to end my relationship with Tyrone. He took it calmly and with understanding. Of course, deep down I was waiting for much more, I was waiting for him to suggest that I leave my husband for him, but he stopped this conversation at the very beginning, saying that we could either be lovers or nobody, but I would not have to choose between him and Robert. Simply because he did not, he sees a modern marriage as possible for himself. Robert and I started having long conversations and clarifying the relationship, he said that he understood a lot, that he did not want to lose me, and began to be more attentive to our marriage. He took a vacation and we went to the sea. He sincerely tried. Including in sex. He drank Viagra so often that I even began to worry about him. However, after a while his interest began to fade again, and I felt lonely and unnecessary again. At that moment, Tyrone reappeared in my life. We met by chance and passion began to play between us again. Our meetings became even more passionate and vivid, and I began to think about what exactly I needed to be happy. But the situation became even more complicated when Robert suddenly found us in bed. I thought at first that he and Tyrone would kill each other. My husband was shocked and terribly angry, but to my surprise he invited us all to sit down together and talk calmly about how to move on. We had a few drinks, and then, surprisingly constructively, we talked. Tyrone bluntly said that he would only be my lover and only as long as our passion was enough, and when the relationship cooled down he would just leave. No matter how cynical it may sound, they quickly agreed on everything. My husband was well aware that he did not have the strength or time to satisfy me in everything, but at the same time he did not want to lose me. Yes and also, after drinking, he admitted that he had never received such an emotional charge before as when he found out that I was cheating on him. As he said, at first he thought he was going to go crazy, and then it turned into his sexual sphere. He admitted that except for the first months of our acquaintance, he had never had such a desire and most importantly the opportunity to physically possess me. He stood like a 15-year-old kid he put it that way then and even without Viagra. I remembered myself that during the period when we reconciled and went on vacation, he tormented me directly we had sex three times a day. It was a very good result for him. So everything went on as usual. Tyrone has become a part of our daily life. He helps me with repairs in a country house recently bought by my husband. 
In the afternoon we go to exhibitions with him. And... Fuck. And in the evening, evening, evening is Robert's time. We have dinner and talk. He tells how his day went. If he wants sex, then the best way to get him started is to tell him some dirty story about Tyrone and me. And lately Tyrone himself has started making videos of our sex for him. And these views act on my husband like a pack of Viagra. All this is good, of course, but I found myself in an awkward position. I recently found out that I'm pregnant. And I don't even know which one of them is the father. And how to present it to them. All I know is that he was conceived that evening when all three of us were thinking about how to move on. And then again, the three of us made love all night. In general, I do not know how this story will end. But one thing is for sure my life will never be the same after all this. Thank you if you listen to the end. Subscribe, like and send your stories. Bye.